Hi there, welcome to another new video from F1 News. The title rivalry has erupted, and then also within one the same team. Where all attention was first focused on the battle between Leclerc and Max Verstappen, it is now also clear that Perez aspires to the same final performance. In this video, we will analyze the battle for the title and visualize the possible impact on the drivers. But first, we would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to press the bell so you don't miss any updates. Done? Let's start! After Monaco qualifiers, the biggest chance of winning was certainly for Ferrari. Leclerc, who had to miss crucial points in Barcelona due to an engine failure, saw Verstappen take the title. He also saw how he had to give up his lead due to mistakes. Perez took the lead, with Sainz in second and Verstappen in third. Leclerc finished next to the podium. Sergio Perez crossed the line first. With this, he took revenge on Verstappen for having to make way for him a week earlier during the Grand Prix in Spain. Perez was then instructed via the board radio to give Verstappen the right of way. Both Red Bull drivers seemed very happy with the result in Monaco. A party was celebrated by the team. The difference in points in the world championship between the two drivers is only 15 points. Only Charles Leclerc still stands between the two. In addition to being teammates, the Red Bull drivers become also title rivals. Before the season started, it seemed that the Red Bull team was going to do everything it could to help Max Verstappen become world champion again. This became painfully visible in Barcelona. But now both drivers are competing for the world championship. Christian Horner is clear about this in the press. We don't care who will become world champions. They both get the same number of opportunities. The season is still very long, so a lot can still happen. But for now, it is great to have both at the front, according to Horner. Perez was outspoken after Barcelona about his second man position. Immediately after the race, however, he already expressed some frustrations on the team radio about the way Red Bull handled team orders. I'm happy for the team, but we need to talk about this, he said. During the race, he called it unfair that Max could just pass him. In Monaco, he got his payback time. This victory has meant that the cards have been reshuffled within the Red Bull team, Horner admits. Checo is in the form of his career. He's doing a great job, and it's not a one-off. I mean, we saw his pole position in Jeddah, and he's really getting into shape now, so that's fantastic for us. Where Perez had to make way for Verstappen twice in Barcelona, that will be different in the coming races, says Horner. Perez is no longer the number two at Red Bull, and that leaves him free to fight with his teammate for the championship. With Sergio Perez only 15 points behind Max Verstappen, that could affect the dynamics between the two. However, Verstappen and Perez themselves think little will change. Why should it? I don't think so, said Verstappen. We'll still be in love, won't we? Perez agrees. There seems to be no tension between the two men. You can read from the reactions of the GP fans that you are questioning the atmosphere within Team Red Bull. Jos Verstappen, former F1 driver and also the father of Max, gave his critical analysis to the media. I found Max's third place very disappointing. We can also see that it was a difficult weekend for Max. That starts with the car, which simply does not yet have the characteristics for its driving style. Max has far too little at the front axle grip. And especially in Monaco, with all those tight corners, you need a car that turns really fast. That was just difficult. Red Bull put in a good result, but at the same time exerted little influence to help Max forward. I would have liked them to have gone for Max, but of course, I am not completely objective. I think that 10 points from Max have been wasted here. Especially with the two retirements we have had, we need every point badly. Forget it. Not that Ferrari has a better car at the moment, especially in qualifying. Verstappen won one place during the Monaco GP, but according to Father Jos, that is due to a Ferrari error at Charles Leclerc's pit stop. The championship leader, Max, was not helped in that sense by the chosen strategy. It now completely fell for Checo. That was disappointing for me, and I would have liked to see something different for the championship leader. Red Bull has won four races in a row, but according to Max Verstappen, Ferrari still has an advantage in terms of speed. 
This was clearly visible in the qualifying sessions on Saturday. If you just looked at the pace over one lap, Ferrari was faster than us. The long run doesn't mean anything here, because nobody is really pushing. It's all about qualifying here. It doesn't matter how fast you are in the race, because you can't overtake anyway. Verstappen won many of his races in 2022 by going past Ferrari cars at race pace during the Grand Prix. But starting from P1 by conquering pole position on Saturday, the Dutchman has not often succeeded this year. Mattia Bonotto indicated after the race that he will carry out technical analysis to discover where things went wrong. However, as far as we were concerned, it seemed to be mainly about human choices and their impact. Such an analysis will not provide a solution. Performing under pressure seems to be better for Red Bull than Ferrari. We saw this happen earlier in the GP season with Leclerc. He lost his third place at Emilia Romagna Grand Prix due to a spin. This happened in the pursuit of second place by Sergio Perez while Carlos Sainz had gotten stuck in the gravel on lap one after a knock from Daniel Ricciardo. However, on the Friday of this GP weekend, the Spaniard himself had already made a mistake with a crash in qualifying. Some critics speak of a disturbed relationship between Leclerc and Sainz. There is even talk that the lack of harmony would create additional tension that would partly influence Ferrari's underperformance. However, the fact that Ferrari allows both drivers to compete against each other does not appear to be a problem for Leclerc. He said in an earlier interview, I don't think it will be a problem. I think if I wear the helmet, I want to beat everyone, including Carlos. I also know how much he wants to beat me. But on the other hand, we are aware that this also carries risks. I mean, an accident cost us more this year than it would have cost last year. But we have never had a problem with that. We have always given each other a lot of respect, and we also have a good off-track relationship, which helps. Back to Red Bull, where the competition just now seems to be starting. Sergio Perez appeared to reveal after his Monaco win that he has already signed a new contract with Red Bull Racing, but in the press conference, he declined to confirm this. Instead, he came up with a story about a champagne bottle that he allegedly signed too early. When Perez is confronted with his statements, Verstappen immediately looks in the direction of the Mexican. The two teammates look each other in the eye for a moment and then start laughing out loud. Perez then seems to come up with an excuse, and that makes Verstappen laugh even harder. Everything indicated that both gentlemen knew more than we did, and that the atmosphere around this subject is relaxed. It has now become clear that Sergio Perez's expiring contract has been extended by two years. The 32-year-old Mexican will therefore remain Max Verstappen's teammate until at least the end of 2024. It promises to be an exciting season, which so far has only been about Red Bull and Ferrari. How do you think this battle will develop? Give us your thoughts in the comments section below this video. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you on the next F1 News video.